So hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if it's your first time around here. So I'm currently out with News Now Yorkshire, just ahead of me there. And we are currently in Totnes. That's correct, Totnes, T-O-T-N-E-S. Um, it's Devon and Cornwall uh, Police that's area that we're in. We're just walking up to Totnes Police Station. Um, I couldn't tell you if we're in Devon or Cornwall, not a clue, we've been driving around that long. No idea where we are, but here we are, let me flip it round. So here we are, Totnes Police Station. There's also a nursery here and after school club, so we'll bear that in mind whilst we're filming. Totnes Police Station, operational car park in constant use, no public right of way. Um, we've got we've got a police dog up here on a bike, look. Check this out. <laughs> we've got PC Barker. You get it, PC Barker, wink wink, ha ha ha. And um, some marked cars up that way. Construction up at the back. That bloody, that dreaded sunlight. Doing me head in. Obviously a staff car park. And a random little JCB digger. Camper van. So it is, it is an operational police station. Parking for the public. Yeah, I've been trying to get all of you for half hour, but no one's responding. You're very rude. Sorry, guys, I'm getting some random radio traffic there. Park at owner's risk, blah, blah, blah. So this is the police entrance over here. The police station entrance, should I say. Inquiry office is now closed. The nearest open front offices is Torquay Police Station or Charles Cross Police Station. We've um, obviously been to Torquay Police Station. There was nothing there. And there's nothing here. There's your little famous blue box if you need to use the phone. Again, 101 for non-emergency, 999 emergency. Oh yeah, there's another honesty box, amnesty box, whatever you want to call it over there. Mike, you pick it up. So yeah, anyway, as we were saying. We've got the marked cars up at the top side. We've got this big old bus here as well. This is pretty cool, look. Old school bus. Old school. That's pretty cool, isn't it, to be fair? Don't know what it's called. It's called the... Uh, bu... B... B-U-I... S-Tol. Who's tall? B U I S T O L Eastern Coach Works Limited. Pretty old school that though. It's pretty cool. It's definitely pretty cool. Got two Vauxhalls at the bottom. There we go. Okay, it's a little, it's a little quiet station, not a lot going on. Um doesn't seem like there's ever a lot of action here. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Can't really confirm or deny. Let's have a little look down here, shall we? Since we can. Looks like there's houses, actually, on both sides. If we look down here, 
It does look like it's um, domestic housing. Yeah, pretty sure. Wall not close. Parking beyond this sign is for residents only. Yeah, so there's a street, yeah. Sign there, so side door saying identification must be worn at all times. Um, and there's some sort of police yard. Hey, Michael, there's some sort of yard ramp back of here. Oh, no, it's not. It's just a fence, isn't it? There was a police officer peeking around the fence at the other side, so... I didn't want to potentially miss an interaction, so I was on now. It's not all... It ends there, because there's a house. To go back up here. Back up here. It's down here. Nothing. Nothing. Chuff out. Hey, it's quiet, it's small. <laughs> We've got a little, little balcony up there. Just enough to be able to get your feet outside, I guess. Not much more. Well, I'm gonna go and have a nosy up here. The officer seems to be going round this back way. I figured we'll have a nosy. Well, that number plate's a bit dirty, innit? Reckon that could do with a clean or what, guys? Reckon you could make that out at 30 yards? I can hardly make it out at 3 metres. Some nice new flats here. New accommodation. Yeah, side entrance. More marked. Oh, livered, livered vehicles, as you can see, around the back side here. Training slash meeting in progress, do not enter it, switch on. There's like a slider sign there that says both. Um, there's more police cars. Around here, there's no vans. The vehicle store, that door over there says, and some sort of like outhouse type thing. Yeah, thing, thingy my bob, thingy my jiggy, the jiggy my thingy. Uh, I keep seeing these signs that keep saying no public quite away. Is this uh all users of the car park have advised that the police authority will make up liability for any damage to vehicles or the property left in the car park. Whether caused by the police authorities, agents, servants or employees or third parties and whether as a result of negligence or by deliberate act, use of this facility do not without charge but entirely at their own risk and only on that understanding does the police authority allow use of this facility. So basically if there's, if there's an accident and the police cause damage to your car, they don't take no responsibility or liability if you're using this car park. That's a bit bonkers, isn't it? It's a new one on me, to be fair, because how, how it's worded. But yeah, it's definitely a new one. Normally it just stops at the at your own risk. That goes a bit more further into detail. Oh. Sweet, happy days. Just, just gave us permission, guys. Just gave us permission. Not that we needed it, like, but you know. Yo, well, don't they even have electric gates? No, they're uh, <laughs> After manual gate locks, guys, yeah? 
It, is, it was only a little itty bitty police station though, innit? So obviously this is your police car. Basic police car, basic radio, not special, it's just a police car. Same as any other city you go to, any other car. Ah, the one thing that is a bit different, look at these little things in the corners. What's that? Yeah. Here, look. It's like a little machine. Is it a sat-nav? Yeah, I, th I think it might be a Tom Tom. I think it's a GPS type thing. I can't really... It is exactly a Tom Tom. Is it a Tom Tom as well? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, yeah, it's sat-navs built into the cars. Not, not, I know, not all police cars have the sat-navs built in, do they? Oh uh, yeah, this one has no markings and that one does, as Mike just pointed out. Devon and Cornwall Police, building safer communities together, is their slogan. And there it goes. Very really unhelpful, um, and I will send an email to all staff about, um, about what we do next, over. There's no point sending an email, if anything, what you need to do is you need to buy yourself some new radios that don't allow, or don't run on PMR public frequencies. Um, might be a good idea. Would you mind, um, would you mind changing the channel, over? They've already changed the channel, but um, you see it doesn't work because I've got a scanner. Perhaps you then you could just not interfere with our uh, radio traffic, over. Um, that's going to be a negative. You're using the PMR Public Airwave channel. Over. <laughs> oh, I can't help myself, guys. I'm really sorry. I can't help myself. Hi, Sarah. I'm out here. Am I in the same place as you? Over. If you're in the same place as the other person, then you'd probably know because you'd be able to see them, wouldn't you? Right guys, I'm going to have to say this right, Devon and Cornwall police are absolutely trumping it. They are literally showing all the other forces how to do it. It is absolutely um, somewhat unreal at the moment. Um, on the trip thus far, we've been to HQ headquarters at Middlemore. We've been to Torquay. Now we're at Trumpton, whatever the flaming neck it's called. Uh, Totnes. And um, it's the, 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 the seeing us, the scene is with the drone, scene is filming the cars through the windows and no one, no one at all is challenging us, which is, you know, it's, it's a positive. It actually is a positive. It's, um, it's about time that you see just us just being left alone to do whatever the bloody hell we, well, whatever we wish within the confines of the law. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so West Yorkshire Police, Metropolitan Police especially, take note, Devon and Cornwall Police take note because, man, the top trump in it. So yeah guys, that being said, I think this is going to be the end of that video. Um, fair dues to these guys, Devon and Cornwall Constabulary. Um, it's not really something you expect every day that you're out at police stations um, to be left alone that is but yeah quality um, they've obviously had their memo as I said in our previous videos I know that this I know that this was the same area that um, or the same police force that um, Ash Phillips um, Tyrant Finder and um, Ard Ed have um, all worked out of this area um, but that's it so let us flip that camera around so, and let me get some good lighting. There we go. So, that's it for um, Totnes uh, Police Station, guys. Um, absolute positive. Brilliant. It always baffles me when I have to say that the police have been fine and left us to it. Um, top Trump, Stephen and Caldwell Police. I'm um, going to give you one more, one more one for your money. Um, and you might be getting a bloody A star at the end of this trip. <sighs> wow. Guys, you know what's coming until the next one, as always. Stay safe, peace, and respect.